There have been some changes to the interdeanery transfer system and following a large number of queries from BMA members, the BMA's Junior Doctors Committee has negotiated some new guidance for the Department of Health and local medical deaneries. In this short video, Dr Aisha Rahim, Deputy Chair of the BMA's Education and Training Subcommittee, discusses a few of the issues surrounding this guidance. In terms of when to apply and how long this process actually takes, what we've decided to do, or the review has decided to do, is to create two transfer windows. And that essentially means that the panel that decide whether people are eligible to have these interdeanery transfers, they will take place twice a year. And we're going to pilot this for one year. So for 2009, the panel will convene in May of 2009 and November 2009. So that means in the months preceding those two windows, you can send in your application, the panel will consider it twice a year, and then a decision will be given quickly. Now the reason to have this panel convened twice a year and the timing of it is because we want to make sure that these applications are considered before a recruitment round. So really that should be most convenient for trainees. The other thing that's important to know is what to do if your application for an interdeanery transfer has been rejected. There are two options that you have, and the first one would be to contact the BMA who can support you through this appeals process. There's a robust process in place now so that if your application has been rejected, the appeals process will help you look at that and the BMA will support you in doing that. The other option, of course, would be to apply again through the open competition process. So essentially, that would be you applying in the normal way during a recruitment round. Another important thing to note at this point is that if your application has been turned down because there simply aren't enough places in the receiving deanery, the deanery that you want to go to, unfortunately, that means that you can't have grounds to appeal. The other thing to say about the appeals process is that once you have your initial um, answer from the deanery as to whether your application has been successful, you then have 10 days in which to appeal. And likewise, the panel has 10 days to reconvene to consider your appeal. If you have further questions that you'd like to ask about interdeanery transfers that haven't been answered by this video clip, there is more detailed information available on the BMA website. Also, you can contact Ask BMA by phone or by email if you have specific questions that you'd like answering. Also, just generally, if you have further questions regarding the Junior Doctor's contract, the Junior Doctor's handbook is quite thorough and detailed and that can give you more information as well. The other thing to say is also that this interdeanery transfer scheme doesn't apply in Northern Ireland. At the moment, it just applies in England, Scotland and Wales.